Kia ora, Helen Brown's here, coming live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're having a super fantastic, sparkling day. Welcome to the Before the Dirt Nap podcast. Um, we are today are going to be talking about um, the importance of taking a break. And what is Before the Dirt Nap? It is where we assist you with helping you live your best life now with ideas, with techniques, with lifestyle ideas. Um, ways that you can um, cross things off your bucket list, your wish list, your travel list, whatever is on your, whatever you want to call your list of things you want to do before the dirt nap. Um, and so this one here today, we're going to be talking about the importance of taking a break. Why should you take a break? Is it really worth taking a break? What can happen if you take a break? What can happen if you don't take a break? Um, all sorts of fun things around the topic of taking a break. Now, before we get started, I have to let you know, scrolling across the bottom of the screen is a very important event coming up next, when, next Wednesday and Thursday on August 10th and 11th, where we are having Networking Riches. It is the first time ever in over eight, in eight years that this event will be held midweek. Um, Networking Riches is absolutely awesome. And the reason I like promoting this event is because um, it's a great way to sharpen those networking skills. If you don't have any networking skills, it's a great way to acquire networking skills. If you have really good networking skills, it is a way to enhance those networking skills. You'll learn new tips and techniques for things to do before the before the dirt nap, before the event, during the event, and after the event. And we even have what we call the breakthrough zone, where we get people in in their seats about their business and the coaches get in there and just start helping them with their um with their business with different ideas different directions they could take it and i will tell you some of those um some of those things are off the chart sometimes i learn more in case he's not listening i learn more in the breakthrough zone than i do during networking riches um, and we've had a couple of breakthroughs it's like wow that was awesome um and so if you would like to come as my guest please go to have to network.com. The link is scrolling across the bottom of the screen here. And um, when you go to have to network.com, you'll get to come for free as my guest. So enough of that. On to the importance of taking a break. Why do we need to take a break? Why should we? Well, one good reason is because everybody needs to take a break. You can't, you can't, you can't be at the top of your game if you are run down and you are tired. Um, your health will suffer your mental attitude will suffer, your productivity will suffer, your creativity suffers. Um, and if you are in business for yourself, your bottom line definitely suffers. Uh, there was a, I've got to go see if I can find an updated article, but this one has always stuck in my mind. But there was a Forbes article that was written in 2013. And I know it's nine years old, but the information is still relevant. And the figures are definitely going to be higher now. Um, but, in two, but the article in 2013 talked about in 2012, there was 13 billion, and that's B with a billion with a B, um, dollars spent on um, stress-related healthcare. And this one sentence in that article has always stuck in my mind, and it said most of this cost could have been avoided if people had done something as simple as take a vacation. And that has always resonated with me. Also, in that same year too, we had they had. CEOs writing letters to other CEOs telling them about the importance of taking a break and encouraging their employees to take a break as well. Why do you want to encourage people to take a break? Why do you want to take a break? Even as a business owner, why do you want to take a break? Because it resets. Think of a computer when you reboot it, when your computer is starting to run slow and sluggish and you're like, uh, and you reboot it, what happens? It starts going a little quicker and a little faster. Same thing happens with the body. When you take a break, it's like a reboot on your brain. You, if you go on vacation, you're breaking the patterns. You're out of the norm. Um, and when you're out of the norm, the brains are like, oh, hello, let's have some fun. And you get all sorts of create. And um, when I take a break, I, un I unplug on Sundays. Most Sundays, about 95% of my Sundays, I unplug. Like, I turn the Wi-Fi off. Um if I want to watch a movie, I have 500 DVDs that I can pick from. Um, 
and most of you know that I live in an RV and you go, what do you do with 500 DVDs? How can you carry 500 DVDs? There's these really cool cases that will hold 250 DVDs per case where you put the DVD in there and you put the information from the, from the plastic jacket in there with it. And it's got a place for the jacket, for the jacket with all the information about the movie. And then it's got a place for the DVD and you don't have to carry the jewel cases. So um, that's how you carry 500 DVDs in, a, in an RV with, without the jewel cases. So you have these beautiful binders that you can put the jacket and the DVD in there and you're good to go. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so if I want to watch a movie, I can do it that way. Or if it's one that I can only get online, I will put the Wi-Fi on to watch that only. I won't pick up my phone. And the only time I am online on a Sunday is to do my lives. Um, most of the time I am offline. Although if it's like a networking riches on the weekend, yes. If it's an event that's a weekend event, yes, I will be online. But if I don't have anything on that weekend, or if I just have something on Saturday and not on Sunday, Sunday, I am offline as much as possible because for me, it is important to disconnect. I even have my office hours here in the RV because this computer set up here, my whole desk, this is my dining table. <laughs> so if I want to eat, I've got to clear, you know, clear space from the from the work stuff so I actually have set hours that I will be at the computer and then once I'm done that's it the computer gets turned off every night and then I go to the recliner we relax we may watch something on on prime or yeah on prime I've got rid of Netflix on prime or on DVD and um, or I may just sit there like I did last night and I'll have my audiobook playing which was a jack which is in Jack Reacher series, I think it's book 12. Anyway, I'm working my way through the Jack Reacher series right now. So I'll have that playing while I'm sitting on the on the iPad, like doing jigsaw puzzles um, or playing a word game. Just something completely different that is different from me sitting here in front of the computer working. Um, or I may even sit there and I will have the Amazon Music play me classical music while I sit and read. Um, so I've uh, my reward used until this past weekend my reward used to be um i could get to watch a movie in the evening if i got rid of if i got my to-do list done for the day now it's sort of like you know i can i can do better stuff with my brain i can help it i can have mini breaks and it's just something as simple as doing a jigsaw puzzle well i can't do jigsaw puzzles in the rv i have no space to do it but I have the jigsaw puzzle program on the iPad, so I can do those jigsaw puzzles while listening to an audio book. Um, and sometimes I will put on a self-development audio book or a business audio book. But right now, I just want to do some more Jack Reacher stuff. I like my action stuff. Um, and so I will do that. And that's just like these little mini breaks throughout the week. Because here in the States, there is very much the philosophy of you live to work. Most countries around the world work to live so when you put those boundaries in of I'm going to work from this out of this hour or this out of this hour and you can if you're on business for yourself you can work those business hours around your family life as well um, another way that you can do resets is on weekends is do a staycation what's a staycation a stay my version of a staycation is I like to issue staycation challenges and a staycation challenge is you have to plan in advance and the idea of the challenge and you get the if you got kids you get them involved as well but the idea is you pick one weekend and it can either just be all day saturday all day sunday or you can make it friday through sunday or friday through monday or saturday through monday whatever you want to do to have that break and your house is your hotel and the idea is is that you get up in the morning you have breakfast then you leave and you don't come back till sometime in the evening, close to bedtime, um, or maybe to have dinner and then relax for the evening and go to bed. But the idea is, is to be out and exploring your local area as much as possible. So during the staycation, it is become a tourist in your local area. And how many activities can you find to do for free? Because we have a little, we have a little boundary thing in there. And that little boundary thing is, you can only spend, okay, I got it off for gas prices. You can spend up to $20 per person per day. That's to cover food, parking, ad, um, admittance fees, anything you want to spend, uh, except for buying um, tchotchkes and memorabilia. But as far as admittance fees, 
um, food, um, snacks, all of that. This is why you plan in advance. When you are out and about, you can't spend more than $20 per person per day. And that includes the gas in the car. So what you do during the week is that before you start your staycation, you make up the day before it starts that you fill up the gas tank then. And hopefully, depending on what you're doing, you may not need to do it. You may just take like public transport. If And a lot of people, if they have annual passes um, to any um, like museums or zoos or amusement parks, they may use their annual pass. It's already been paid for. Um, but then you've got to watch because when you're inside the park area, what are you purchasing? What are you buying? Um, if it's remember, if it's um, a memento or something, that's fine. That doesn't count on your twenty dollars. But if it's food or snacks or drinks, that all counts. Um, or if it's to do an extra special ride or something, that will, extra special attraction that requires extra cost, that counts towards your twenty dollars per person per day. So you've got to start thinking about these things. How many activities can you find within your area? And it's up to you how far within your area you want to drive. Can you find that up for free or where the parents pay and the kids get in for free based on their age? Um, and it will, and where you can only spend $20 per person per day. Now, if you also forward plan, you will already have food in stock to make things like picnics to take with you, picnic foods to take with you, snacks to take with you, drinks to take with you. Um, and things like that, that you can take and have picnics or you make sandwiches and snacks to take with everybody. But of course, before you go, make sure that the place you're going to will allow you to bring food and if you're doing things like amusement parks or zoos or things like that. Um, and that's what a staycation is all about. It's, it's getting together and making that plan that this weekend, and then you tell everybody, you tell all your friends and your neighbors and stuff, we're away for the weekend, we're not here. And you unplug. The only time you can use your online stuff because we want you off social media for the weekend. You can take pictures to post after the weekend, but part of the challenge is to be present with your family. Yes, take the pictures, totally agree with that one. Got to capture the memories, but you don't post them on social media till after the weekend. You've been, you know, you're gonna get a little creative here. Um, another thing that you can do too is, um, is that the only reason that you use the phone, you don't take any phone calls unless it's an emergency, and you already know the people you're going to get emergency calls from. Um, the only other reason you use the phone is for GPS, so you don't get lost. <laughs> but if you're like me, I get out a map book and plot my journey. Um, I, I just love maps. I do. I love, I love the physical touch and feel of maps. Yes, I will use a GPS in the car, but if I can get out the map and I can figure out, okay, this is where I am, this is where I need to go, what's the best way to get there, and I can picture it on the map, it makes it easier and I'm less reliant on the GPS unit, but I may use the GPS unit if I send it, oh, hang on, I thought I was supposed to take a right, I'm supposed to take a right turn somewhere around here. Hmm, well, there's a shopping center. I'll pull in there, look at it on the map, and, you know, pull in the shopping center, pull out my map book, check it. Oh, yeah, that's where I got to go. Um, so some people could have to use, they prefer to use GPS, and that's okay. Um, but the idea is to unplug, disconnect, and just spend time with family. Um, and that's a staycation. So you're doing that from home. Or the other way is that you literally shut out everybody, shut yourselves in, and especially if, um, yeah, shut yourselves in and just have a, a weekend at home with no disruptions. And I have, and my late husband and I used to do that as well. We would like literally shut off the phones and we would decide to do movie marathons. And we would get everything into everything in beforehand. We'd figure out what we we're going to eat during that time. A lot of it was like charcuterie boards. In fact, I think that's all we ate <laughs> during those times. We're like, we had different food types that could be used as snacks, and we'd make up charcuterie boards out of the snacks. Um, and we would have um, a movie marathon at home, and that's what we, and that's what we would do for for a staycation. If we didn't feel like going, or if the weather wasn't good that weekend, we'd turn it into a, a staycation at home. And um, if anybody saw, oh, can we come over and visit? Up, no, sorry, we're not home. We're out. We're away for the weekend. <laughs> so, that, you know, that's the, sort of, that's the sort of stuff that we would do. And that was fine. And it was really good in, when we were in Virginia because we actually had a movie theater downstairs. And uh, so we would unplug the receiver for the doorbell so we couldn't hear the doorbell ringing upstairs so people wouldn't know if we were home or not. Maybe if they looked inside the garage and saw my car in there, they might have said, well, hang on, both their cars are here. Because um, we very really had, oh, no, we did manage to get both cars in there. Um, so unless they looked in the garage, they wouldn't have known that we were home. We're just 
we're away. We'd basically move into the basement for the weekend. It was awesome. Um, another other things you can do is do mini vacations. Um, you've got um, different places like Airbnb. You've got bed and breakfast. Um, we did a fantastic um, getaway weekend one time. We left on Friday and we came back Sunday. And when we were living in Virginia, we went to West Virginia and stayed in Charlestown. And this is Charlestown, not Charleston, West Virginia. And Charlestown is actually named after George Washington's brother. Um, and the and the B&B that we stayed at that weekend was on land originally owned by George Washington's family. And the guy who ran the B&B was very much of a historian and had done a lot of research on the land. And he said, oh, you know that creek that you came across the little bridge when you came onto the property? We're like, yeah. He says, well, George Washington surveyed that when he was 13. We're like, excellent. Um, and we just used the B&B as our base and we went into these little outings. The weather was horrific that weekend. It was wet, it was raining, it was gorgeous, but we still had fun. Um, we went exploring around there. We didn't, we couldn't get out of the car and go exploring, but we could drive by different areas. We drove down to Harpers Ferry. We found some little um, old fashioned pharmacy type place that had been turned into a restaurant. And you go in there and it still had the old soda fountain counters there and everything else and you could order the soda fountain drinks and it was just a really cool it was, we had great food the drinks were awesome um and these were like soda fountain drinks so um like the creamsicles and um the floats and those sorts of things and uh, it was just a really great atmosphere we had a great lunch there but it was a great weekend we got away and by the time we got home we felt like we had had a break and we were ready to swing back into work and all that sort of stuff. So there's many vacations you can do. Take a long weekend and go out of town. You don't have to go far. That place was, I don't even think it was two hours from our house. You know, so go somewhere local. Um, go stay somewhere local. Um, and then just have a day or designate a day of the week where you can unplug. And I would tell you that would be the biggest, that would be the biggest thing that you can do for yourself if you can't get away or you don't want to do the staycation stuff. Just pick a day a week where you unplug. No computers, no internet. Well, internet if you've got to watch movie, if you decide to do a movie day or something. Sorry, I've got I hear somewhere back here that is tickling the back of my neck and driving me nuts. Um, um, so think of ways that you can take breaks. Then of course there's your typical vacations of you know, getting away for seven days, 14 days, whatever it is, taking that vacation with the family by yourselves, um, going on a cruise, going to an all-inclusive resort, flying to some different country and having a vacation there those are all ways that you can take breaks because when you come even though you come back you may come back tired from those vacations you still come back energized and recharged and all of a sudden your work is, you've got more productivity going out anytime you can take a break you can get out there and get more productivity going um, you can be more creative Every time, every Monday morning when I wake up after having been unplugged on Sunday, every and Sunday we go for mystery drives. Most Sundays, um, Zephy and I get in the car in the morning, we go, um, we'll go to the dog park and I will have this big container of water with me for her and I will have her bag that has her treats in it, has some food in there, has some toys in there, um, some wipes where she gets slobbered on by dogs at the dog park, which does happen. Um, <laughs> I have my own little cooler with um with drinks and snacks and stuff in it and we hop in the car and we'll go to the park she runs around burns off a lot of energy we hop in the car and we just go for a drive and i look at and i'll look in the back and i'll just go to and zephy will be sort of like looking out the window oh, where are we going and i'll get to a traffic light and i'll be in the first traffic light we get to we only got left or right decision so i'll look in the back in the mirror and i'll go to zephy i go left or right whichever way she looks that's the way we go if she looks left we go left if she looks right we go right um, and then when we get to another intersection, I'll, I'll see another intersection coming up and I'll go left, right, straight ahead. And she, and wherever her head moves, that's the direction we go. It makes for a very interesting drive. You can end up in some interesting places that way. Um, but we go out for these drives and, you know, it's only for a couple of hours that we're out driving. And then we come home and, um, and I'll sit and read for the afternoon. We may take a nap. Naps are good. Naps are great breaks. Um, it's another way to unplug is to take a nap. Power naps are awesome. I have an app on my phone. It's called Cat Napper. And there's, um, it's done by an organization called Hemisync. And in Hemisync, you have to have the speakers um, equal distance from your ears because of the way the, um, the, um, 
the sound waves work with the program. It's kind of like a self-hypnosis type program. And um, so I always use earplugs. Um, the um, well, now I actually now I actually have my and I don't have it sitting over there. I have a sleep mask that has um, speakers on the side, so I can now use that for my catnapper one um, because now I'm equidistant on my thing. And I play the catnapper on my phone, and it's thirty minutes long. And even when I'm flying, if I'm flying any more than three hours. 30 minutes before, um, about an hour before landing, I will put the cat napper on, take a 30 minute nap, wake up just in time for them to turn around and start all of the landing procedures and everything else. And um, and on, when I'm on the plane, I have my noise cancelling headphones on. Um, and so by the time I wake up from the cat nap, I'm refreshed, I'm ready to go. And uh, this is how it, it, it just helps me so much to get up and get going. And so Catnapper is a great program for helping you have a 30 minute nap and come up, wake up energized and ready to go. Um, so there's all sorts of different things that you can do to take a break, but it is important for your mental health to take breaks. You cannot be continually working. The more you work, um, it's not good for you physically. It's not good for you mentally. Um, you do need to take a break from the day to day. Um, and some people go, oh, I'm fine, I've been doing this. And there were some people in my BNI chapters, when I belonged to a BNI chapter, that were sort of like, oh, I haven't taken a break in 15 years and I'm fine. And I look at them and um, I'm like thinking, you yeah, know, you're not. Because you could see it in the color of their skin. You could see it in their physical appearance. You could see the bags under their eyes. I mean, they had suitcases under their eyes. And um, some of them like, oh, I'm taking my first vacation in 10 years. I'm like, awesome. When, and they'll come back and go, how was your vacation? Oh, that was really great. I said, when are you taking the next one? I wouldn't give them a break. You want a break from a break? Come back from one vacation, book your next one. Or in some cases on cruises, they have the advanced sales desk. So while you're on the cruise, you can go talk to those people there and book your next cruise while on the current cruise. And you get amazing deals that way. It could be a price break. It could be extra stuff, the extra amenities that you get, extra onboard credits. Um, so when you're on a cruise and you really and if you like the ship, you like the company that you're sailing with, go to the advanced sales desk and or the future sales desk and book your next cruise. Why not? You're there. They're giving you great deals, um, onboard ship credits. You get you may get um, other stuff thrown in like drinks packages or um, Wi-Fi packages. Who knows what they're offering? Um, but always stop by the future sales desk and go. What are you offering if I book a cruise now? And based on when the next cruise is going to be as to what the offer is going to be so when you're on vacation if they have a future sales desk go ask what their next offer, what their best offer is that's going to be so that you can go back um, and book your and book your next trip your next cruise your next vacation um, so there's there's just a few ideas but the main reason for taking for making sure that you take a break is to give yourself a mental reboot and that is just so, so important. So I am now done with this. So I am going to be shutting down my computer as soon as I as soon as I get off this. I'm going to go take the dog for a walk. And then we're going to come back and have a nice relaxing evening. I may read. I may, I may just listen to an audio book while doing a jigsaw puzzle. Or we might watch a movie. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But we'll definitely be having playtime because Zephy likes her playtime at night. And we'll definitely be giving her her treats, which involves hiding her treats for her. She gets treats around 8 o'clock at night, and we hide the treats so that keeps her mental thing going as well. So I have different toys and stuff for helping her to figure things out. Like, to, you got to slide this piece to get the treat, or you got to open this box to get a treat, or you have to pull this piece out to get the treat underneath. Or if I pull this string, a drawer comes out, and there's my treat. Or if I move this, if I take this out and slide this piece, there's a treat. Like she can smell the treats, she's just got to figure out how to get them. So I've got some great puzzle things like that for her that helps her mental ability as well. So she gets a break from the day-to-day -day of walking, coming back, taking naps, a little bit of play, and then you throw something like this at her and she's like, oh, we kind of like this. So it, it challenges you, it helps with creativity and everything. But if you want to be more productive, more creative, um, and just in better health overall, take Go turn your computers off, go unplug, pick up a real book. I just got this book today. 
I just got this book today and I was starting and while I was waiting to get onto the um, networking exercise uh, the next the, net, the speed networking I just got off I was sitting here and just starting to read and I was like oh this is kind of interesting and then the zoom started and I was like oh I gotta put it down now so maybe I'll read that book tonight while I'm sitting over there with some classical music playing I find classical music helps me retain better um, and if I listen to the classical music while reading something like a business development book or self-development book it sticks a lot better than if I just have any sort of genre of music playing so everybody has their own thing but go plan put in your calendar to take breaks put into your calendar to take breaks um, they are so even during the day taking a break to get up and walk around um, there are times when I will go okay I need to psych myself out because it feels like it's getting warm in here yes it may be in the 80s inside the RV I run hot anyway and it might be 115 outside so Zephy and I will go for a walk in the heat in the middle of the day come back and it feels like an ice box <laughs> when you go into the natural sauna outside and then you come in you feel like you're in a nice box and it, it actually does wake you up and now I'm ready to tackle the rest of the day so there are times that we'll do like a short 10 minute walk come back and we're good to go for the rest of the day so you know find ways to take breaks build them into your day as well because it just helps with that mental alertness um, and just have fun with it it could be just going and sitting outside and getting some fresh air it could be you know if your place has a nice like little park area go for a walk around that and um, go for a walk around the 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 um the parking area go for a walk around the building do a circuit of the building outside um and then come back inside and you'll find your uh, it's enough it's just enough to wake you up um when i'm on stuff like networking riches if i'm not needed during that if i'm taking a break sometimes i'll just go stand outside and walk around the rv that's 32 feet in one direction, eight feet across, or 10 feet across. Actually, no, hang on. Uh, two slides, eight feet plus six, 14 feet. So 32 feet down, 14 feet across, 32 feet down, 14 feet across. And I might do that a couple of times and then come back in. Um, even if it's 120 degrees outside, I will go do that because when I come back inside, I'm in an ice box even though the icebox is 80 something degrees and we're, we're good to go. So just find ways that you can take breaks during the day. It's great for your mental health. It's great for your performance at work. It's great for your productivity. Um, and if you are a boss, it's great for your bottom line to make sure that people take breaks. So go take a break, turn the computer off, go unplug, have a super fantastic sparkling evening of being off the computer. <laughs> off the social media um, and all of that and we will catch you guys back here tomorrow and tomorrow we will be on at actually I think I have a networking thing on tomorrow it's not on my calendar we'll be back around seven o'clock tomorrow night as well so have a super fantastic sparkling day and we'll see you at 7 p.m pacific time tomorrow hey Connera you ready for your walk